But the story that has gripped the cricketing world, Australian batsman Phil Hughes remains in a critical condition after surgery following a sickening blow to the head. A warning, the following story has images some may find distressing. Channel 7's Ashley Brown has the details. Along with Tom Cooper. This is the moment Phil Hughes collapsed, struggling to stay upright as players rush to help, then falling flat on his face. Other videos show Hughes minutes later on a medicab. A doctor has him turned to one side, keeping his airways clear. At one point, Hughes's arm flops to one side. He's clearly unconscious. The latest is uh, he's obviously uh, been transported to hospital and we understand that uh, he's just going into surgery now. The 25-year-old opener was batting for South Australia, making 63 off 161 balls. He was looking good to claim Michael Clarke's vacant test spot when he was hit by a delivery from New South Wales paceman Sean Abbott. Phil sort of half turned. I couldn't quite see whether it glanced him on the body or the side of the face. Possibly struck on the chin. Hughes kept his feet for a moment, then fell. An ambulance helicopter flew specialists straight to the ground. Any blunt force injury to this part of the body, the upper neck or, or the face, has great risk associated with it. Teammates and officials gathered as medics stabilised Hughes for the road trip to hospital, just two kilometres away. I certainly saw blood coming out of his right ear. It doesn't look too good at all. St Vincent's is Sydney's leading trauma hospital. He arrived in a critical condition and he remains in a critical condition. Australian skipper Clark hurried to the hospital along with Hughes's mother and sister who were in the stands watching the game. We are obviously very, very shocked with what's occurred. Um, and, and obviously very upset. Cricket New South Wales said clearly the priority is Phil's health and we want to keep his family fully informed. It's the second recent bad blow for Hughes. This was last year. Look at that. Fans said today's delivery did not appear particularly aggressive. There have been some quicker ones but uh, prior, but no, it didn't look uh, any different. Certainly has uh, got everybody talking around the world about safety uh, and the uh, exactly how safe these helmets are. So these discussions are crucial after what is a, a very scary moment for anyone that follows cricket. It's very difficult to watch, isn't it? Doesn't Thanks, it? Sam. A lot of paddock around me. So I used to play all sports, rugby league, or used to swim, play cricket, anything. Um, as a kid growing up, with my brother and a few mates, and because we had a lot of land too, so I um, used to just run around the, on the park and well, on the farm, and um, yeah, that's how it sort of kick started. I remember, you know, I first started playing when I was 10, and I used to play just in the backyard um, with with my brother Jason and, and my dad. dreamt of it. <laughs> yeah, that was always my dream going th coming through the ranks and um, as a kid and that's like every kid's dream and it's just fantastic to know when it happened. And one away from what would be a maiden hundred in test match cricket. Goes in the air, it's going out the ground, what a way! What a way to get to your first test hundred. Philip Hughes in just his second test. Look at the reaction from Ricky Ponting.